12 strange signs that you may be low in zinc. 1. Food tastes bland. The first sign of a zinc deficiency is noticing that your food tastes different, bland or bitter. When you don't have enough zinc, your taste buds can't send flavour signals to your brain as easily, so your food starts to lack flavour and your sense of smell may become fainter as well. This usually happens after being sick because your body burns through more zinc to fight off infections. Sign 2. White Nail Specks if your nails have horizontal white streaks, white spots or specks, you likely had a deficiency in zinc whilst that part of your nail was growing, so the keratin didn't form properly in the nail. This often happens to people who eat too much sugar, which depletes their zinc and trace mineral stores. 3. Blurry Vision Have you noticed that your vision becomes blurry at night and halos appear more around bright lights? This is usually a vitamin A deficiency, but your retinas also need to adjust properly to focus. Without enough zinc, vitamin A doesn't activate, so your eyes may suffer as a result. You can increase your zinc levels easily with food or supplements, and I'll talk more about this later. Sign 4. Feeling down a lot Zinc works with magnesium and other nutrients in your body to make serotonin and dopamine. These are neurotransmitters that help you to feel balanced, happy and focused. People who don't consume enough zinc or they eat lots of refined carbs however, tend to feel more down, moody and mentally foggy because their brain struggles to regulate their mood properly. 5. Corner Mouth Cracks Painful cracks or sores at the sides of your mouth could also mean that your body needs more zinc. Zinc is absolutely essential for repairing skin and tissues, but when you're low, zinc takes longer to heal, causing red, dry or splitting skin. It can also cause other skin problems as well, since zinc is used to make new skin cells, without enough of it, people often suffer from dandruff, patches of dry, flaky skin, eczema, rashes or blotches on different parts of the body. One of the best natural supplements for raising zinc levels is called zinc glycinate. Again, more on this later. Number 7 is hair thinning. If your hair is becoming thinner or falling out more than usual, your body may not be getting enough zinc. Zinc is essential for strong, healthy hair helping to build keratin and protect hair follicles. Some research suggests that people with weaker hair follicles often have lower levels of zinc in their bodies. A form of zinc called zinc methionine can help to support hair strength by reducing hair shedding called the exogen phase. Sign 8. Stomach Ulcers Stomach ulcers can feel like a burning sensation that tends to ease up when you eat food for a while. Zinc along with other nutrients are important as they help to support the stomach's natural protective lining. Without enough however, the stomach lining may become more sensitive, making it easier for acid to cause irritation over time. Many people use zinc carnosine to support the gut lining and to nourish internal skin in the stomach. 9. Low Immunity Zinc supports the thymus gland which is a key organ involved in the body's natural defences. It also works alongside vitamin D which plays a role in maintaining overall resilience. You see, without enough zinc, the body may take longer to recover, making it harder to feel your best. Stress can also deplete zinc levels, which is why people often feel run down when they're under a lot of mental or emotional pressure. 10. Hangnails Painful little tears around the sides of your nails that form sharp hangnails may be a sign of low zinc or it could be that you're washing your hands too much, which may be weakening the surrounding skin. 11. White coated tongue Zinc helps to regenerate the cells in your mouth, but without it, your tongue's surface can become overgrown with bad bacteria or yeast. This causes a white or thick coating that may trigger a cotton mouth-like feeling. 
This often happens to people with a weakened immune function or those who eat too many refined carbs or sugars. And 12 is feeling lost or disoriented. A part of your brain, called the hippocampus, uses an incredible amount of zinc to grow new brain cells whilst you're an adult. When you don't have enough of it, spatial memory and focus can suffer, making it harder to remember directions, recognise locations or just stay mentally sharp. This is why people who eat too much junk food often suffer with brain fog because the refined sugars and carbs deplete zinc levels. And a final sign that I'd like to add is having weak muscles or low stamina. Zinc contributes to muscle health, recovery and natural hormone balance. It also supports the heart muscle which needs to contract thousands of times a day so that you can have a steady heartbeat. If you find yourself gasping for air when walking upstairs or feeling weak, sluggish or easily fatigued, it could be a sign that your body needs a bit more zinc and antioxidants like vitamin E for example. So now that you know all of this, how can you check your zinc? Only 0.1% of your body's zinc is found in blood plasma, so the standard blood tests are not always reliable for checking zinc levels. However, some people like to use the zinc taste test as a general indicator of their zinc intake. This test is available in most pharmacies and online and to try it you simply hold two teaspoons of the liquid zinc solution in your mouth for at least 10 seconds and then swallow or spit it out. If you immediately notice that there's a strong, bitter or metallic taste, this may suggest that your zinc intake is good enough and sufficient. However, if it tastes like water or it has no taste at all, it could potentially indicate a lower zinc status in your body. While it's not a medical test, some people do find it useful as a basic reference for their zinc intake. But why do we become low in zinc in the first place? Well, zinc is involved with over 2,800 different proteins in the body. From making brain chemicals, hormones to skin cells, it does a lot. It's estimated that at least 17% of people worldwide are now deficient in zinc, with much higher percentages on low-income families. The main reason is simply not eating enough red meat, seafood and eggs, which are some of the richest bioavailable sources of this mineral. Cereals, legumes and grains also contain phytic acid which can bind to zinc and block its absorption in the gut. Refined carbohydrates and sugar also deplete zinc levels, making deficiencies more common. Medications that reduce stomach acid or increase urination can drain zinc stores as well. Alcohol blocks zinc absorption and causes more zinc loss through the urine. Your body burns through zinc faster during stress and illness or when fighting off an infection. And too much copper from supplements, using copper pans or copper from water pipes can lower zinc levels slowly over time. Now let's take a look at how to boost your zinc levels. Protein. Eat high quality animal protein sources of zinc often, including beef, lobster, oysters, liver and eggs. You can also get plant-based zinc from pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds and peas, but it's best to sprout these to get better absorption. Popular zinc supplement choices include Nutrigenesis from Performance Lab or Zinc Glycinate which are both well absorbed forms. A commonly used amount is around 30mg per day based on the general guidelines but it's always best to check the labels. To stay balanced people also usually take 2mg of copper bisglycinate for every 30mg of zinc. Avoid depleters. It's recommended to cut back on whole grains, cereals, breads, refined flour, sugar and alcohol which can all lower your zinc storage. Also you want to find ways to manage your stress. Go for long walks, drink lemon balm tea and do box breathing so zinc lasts longer when it's in your body. If you're looking for a more powerful supplement for stomach related issues, people often turn to zinc carnosine 
at a dosage of 75 milligrams twice per day. The carnosine in this formulation can help zinc to stay in the stomach for longer to help target the sore skin more effectively. Zinc supplements to avoid. Always check the ingredients on supplements and try to avoid zinc oxide, gluconate, sulfate or acetate as these forms are less absorbable and can be a bit hard to digest. For better absorption stick with Nutrigenesis, Glycinate, Bisglycinate, Picolinate, Carnosine or Methionine. For more information on zinc and its benefits watch this video on screen now. Thank you so much for watching, I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.